What is going on YouTube? Hit it back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Now, markets have been pretty much consolidating back down. We pretty much expected this as of yesterday. We made a video on it here, basically saying, are you seeing this? Watch if you have any XRP or any cryptocurrency for that matter here, as we were kind of in a very interesting predicament where resistance, where the price caught up to some major resistance resistances and we were actually starting to retest it and trying to decide which direction we'd be moving to now looking at you can see xrp here basically we were trading right around the blue band of resistance here where we need to either decide are we heading up are we heading down so on and so forth here but this is a problem zone it's a major resistance here and even if we did confirm closure above here which we did it wasn't enough opportunity to buy in and leverage to the upside as a conservative trader because we got the moving average as a resistance and we got the price ceiling as a resistance so very easily could have just rejected off of it or get stuck here it's not much more volume that uh you know there's not a lot of volume that would help us you know move higher so and it goes beyond xrp ethereum as well was retesting its price ceiling and you can see we easily dropped down from that bitcoin also retesting a very solid resistance level moving averages on the daily downtrend as well as a price ceiling here as well so obvious rejection it's not surprising so you know in any sense here and we're following suit within the s p 500 which you can see is breaking down from its support here so we are deleting that and you we are also going to delete that and you can see maybe there's some sort of top resistance maybe that's what we're looking at right here i don't know i can't really find some support that isn't you know fully accurate just yet maybe this is it i have no idea you can see the bottom the bottom support is not really one that we can confirm just yet because of how early it is but uh definitely a big possibility that maybe there is some sort of uptrend like that i don't know for sure yet that support on the bottom is is up for debate here but definitely a top resistance one two three confirmations for sure and that can help us lead to the to basically find the next spot we're going to be moving to if we break through that line we'll know we can leverage to the upside here but there's definitely so some sort of uptrend that we do have to pay attention to. Maybe it's something like this that might be more accurate than before here. But regardless, all this is affecting cryptocurrency. We are simply sliding lower in the short term here. But as we've said in the past here, historically, September is a bearish month for cryptocurrency. And hopefully after this month, October, November, December, we should have a three month rally here, which is pretty incredible if you ask me. So with that all being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe. Let's jump into today's episode. Super quick before we dive into the technical analysis. It's been a long time since I've continued my rebuilding series on my second channel here that I started a couple months ago here. You can see, uh, you know, if anyone that has been watching or as a subscriber here was wondering what's up with the Volkswagen that I bought, you can see this is some pretty epic stuff. I just dropped the video about 30 minutes ago, and this video is a banger. There is so much content going on in this video. It's absolutely insane. So I highly recommend you check it out. We really got into the nitty gritty of the car, uh, as you can see here. It's completely taken apart and destroyed. So, you know, highly recommend you watch that if you want something else to watch besides cryptocurrency. But diving into the technical analysis, looking at the top 10 cryptocurrencies, you guys can see here. For the most part, we are consolidating. Global crypto market is down 1.65% here. We are pretty much just floating 42 on the fear and greed index, which is pretty low. And for the most part, nothing is really happening. It's nothing really like to say, let's take advantage of it. Let's dive in. Let's short. Let's long. Literally nothing. Everything that we went up is back down to that same support. Same thing with Ethereum. Same thing with BNB. Same thing with XRP. There's really very little movement across this past 24 hours and across the past seven days movement. So it's really just a waiting game at this point here. So as you guys can clearly tell, XRP is still floating outside of a bear flag, bull flag, whatever you want to call it. Bull flag descending fractal formation here where typically this does have a bullish bias for breaking to the upside. However, we're very much so intertwined with this price ceiling. So the goal is that we can get above here. Once we get above that, I then suspect to see this reversal to the upside. I think it's a historically proven that we've been seeing bull runs every single time, three times in the past here, and basically waiting for the fourth one to happen here. We are slowly trading outside, so it's definitely confirmed that we are trending upwards here. We did slightly move up from the breakout, so once we confirm closure above that, we're up at most 7.5%, 7.5%, but we're intertwined now with that moving average. So ideally, the goal here is to wait for... 
this moving average to make, or sorry, the goal is for the price to make some sort of decision here because it's just floating right now. But it's really getting influenced by all the other cryptocurrencies too. Nothing is really exploding just yet. So, you know, it's artificially suppressing XRP's volume too. Volume is completely dead. We're trading at 45, but you can see volume is literally died completely. So until we get that volume injection, we're not going to be doing much. Or even if we get volume injection or rejection, removal from the markets here, we're not going to be doing much. So that's what we're patiently waiting for here is that sign, that signal. If we head up to moving average, break through that, then we can expect to see that pump. As you can see, when we break through the moving average, that's typically the pump that we have here. But we're not even up to the moving average yet. So it's con it's confirmed that until we can break through this here, then we can expect a rally. But understand, look at the size of this massive bull flag formation here. So the fact that we're not seeing an immediate moonshot right after, it makes sense to me. It might take a little bit longer, and then we can see that pump to the upside here. But it's not going to happen until we break through that moving average. Now, obviously, we are going to be taking advantage of this on BidFi, which is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. BidFi lets me buy long lets me sell short, create stop losses, take profits, everything you could possibly want to do to cryptocurrency, including XRP. You can see I have XRP pulled up for leverage trading here. USDT leverage trading um, is offered on BidFi, which is why I highly recommend checking them out. They have a take profit. They have a stop loss that you can create here. They have literally everything and anything. The leverage that you want to do, 1x, 150x, like it's really cool the amount of opportunities they offer here, including a welcome reward sign up bonus to earn up to $2,888 completely free by signing up with the link down in the description below. So make sure to check this out. Link down below. They are going to be doing some bonuses, which is going to be really cool too. And they will be re adding the demo account because I keep yelling at them to create it or to re-add it because they removed it when they removed the light contracts, which is super annoying, but sooner than later, they'll have that back up. So keep that posted. I need to figure out what's wrong with my Google Chrome. It's taken forever to load now. But regardless, any who's moving on from that, looking at Ethereum, Bitcoin, and then wrapping things up with the S&P 500, you guys can clearly see we're definitely hitting a floor with a lot of these cryptos. We're hitting some sort of supports. Ethereum moved all the way up rejected off its price ceiling and fell back down to support now. And the goal is that we stay above here. Like I said, eventually move back to retest moving average. The goal is to move and retest moving average. And it's going to happen eventually. We do have these dips where markets dip below moving average, but they always come back to retest it. Every single time for Ethereum, we always come back to retest moving average. So it's only a matter of time before back up to retesting this. And then ideally breaking through that and getting back above. I'm bullish on a lot of these cryptos. It might take to the end of the month. We might have another week and a half left, but it might take us that long. But ideally at some point or another, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin will guaranteed, well, can't guarantee it, but 99.8% .8 chance that we will be moving back up to supports here. And this are, these are gonna be the low months, the low weeks for September that give us opportunities to buy in to leverage to the upside. Now you can clearly see the obvious rejection here. This was a small short opportunity on Bitcoin here. Rejection off downtrend, rejection off price ceiling, rejection off moving average, literally implying correction. We might, you know, see something like this. It's very possible. It might be even quicker than that. I don't know. Maybe we see something along the lines of here. Regardless, we are rejecting off this moving average. So until we can break through this, and through this blue band of resistance here, because you can clearly see the stair-stepping pattern, we're going to be bearish. So until we break through this, it's a waiting game and we're sitting ducks. But that's pretty much it. You can see on the S&P 500, also rejection off the top price ceiling. So until we can break through this price ceiling here, we're sitting ducks. However long that takes us to float around, till we break through that price ceiling, we are going to be correcting lower and consolidating yet again even longer so keep your eyes peeled for breakouts above or below these resistances that's really the main focal point and takeaway of these videos a lot of these cryptos are consolidating but they are all right neck and neck with some pretty solid price ceilings and resistances that we can use to confirm when to be buying in when to be selling short so on and so forth here but with all of that being said definitely make sure to smash like button turn on post notifications subscribe and i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace